Guess what? We are honored to be in the presence of royalty this afternoon. Yeah, we'd like to introduce you to the 2017 Mardell Watermelon Queen, Connor Venson. She's joining us in the kitchen, and we're spending a little time uh, snacking and sipping with watermelon. Yes. Welcome to the show. Yes. Thank you for having me. Great to have you here. Can I ask you a question? Yes. <laughs> I never know how to get the right watermelon. Can you help me out with that? I can, I can. So there are three simple steps on how you pick a good watermelon. Okay. First, you're going to look at it, then you're going to lift it, and then you're gonna turn it. So you wanna make sure that it's got a nice green color because watermelons are green. You wanna right. make sure that it's clear of all blemishes. Then you wanna pick it up because it's gonna be heavy because watermelons are 92% water. Okay. And then you wanna flip it over and you see this yellow spot? Yeah. This is a good thing. This well, it's is good. actually a good thing. Yes. Oh, okay. So this means that it signify or shows that it ripened in the sun. So, and that's what you want. So how about that? As long as it's got a nice yellow there spot, it's heavy and clear of all blemishes, it is a good watermelon. Wonderful. Nice stuff. And and there's a, there's a certain way to, to cut up watermelon and uh, we're just gonna save some time and you already cubed this for I us? I did, I yeah. did. Because yes. we are making, tell us what we're making first. So today we are going to make first our fire and ice salsa. Mm, so. And that's what I'm making here. Yes. And Jimmy's making? Jimmy is going to make some watermelon lemonade. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> to, cool, to cool the fire and ice salsa. Yes, okay. there you yes. go. So um, should I just go ahead and start? Yeah, go ahead. So first we're gonna dump the watermelon into this white container here, okay. so. I can do that. Well done, Lisa. Thank you, I'm good at dumping <laughs> watermelon Then out. we can go ahead and take the onions and put those in there. Okay. Mm. Then we can take our green peppers and put those in there. These ones here? Yes. Mm. Okay. Then we'll take the jalapenos. Oh, these are jalapenos? Those are jalapenos. That's a lot of jalapenos. <laughs> you see that, yes, Jenny? It so it's fire and ice. Yes, <laughs> it we'll is. take the cilantro. Okay. Mm. Then we'll top it off with some lime juice. Lime juice. Lime okay. juice. That'll go well with the cilantro yes. there. It's so pretty. It is. <laughs> okay. We can go ahead and mix that together. Just mix that yep. together. And it, that's it? And that's it. Wow. It's as easy as that, yes. All right, while and she's mixing, tell me what to do here. Okay, so this, you can go ahead and put all this watermelon into the blender. Okay, what else have I got here? Um, you have lemon juice lemon and juice agave syrup. And yes. agave syrup. Oh, well, we don't have as much now. <laughs> so how did you get involved in the um, Watermelon Queen so my dad is actually a local farmer uh -huh. um, from Laurel, and so this is something that I've grown up around my entire life. All I know is living on a farm. Right. Um, so I just, I just kind of, my mom used to be the queen coordinator for Mardell, and so I just was like, well, I'll give it a shot, you know, just trying to get out there and support our local farmers, because yeah. I know the importance that, you know, importance of our local farmers in our community. So I and like, I understand well, that you can uh, spit a watermelon. What? <laughs> See. I can, oh, yeah. okay. I'm a little nervous yeah, there. So, <laughs> um, so it's not very ladylike to do it anywhere else, but um, if you are the watermelon queen, you do. You get that um, privilege? Yeah, you nice. do get to spit watermelon seeds. So, um, and you learned that from your mom? Yeah, my mom's really good at it. She's really, really good. <laughs> Unfortunately, she brought seedless watermelons. I know. So you can't oh, demonstrate what? for us You here. saw it coming, didn't you? Knew we were gonna ask. I know, I know. Okay. So, That's is All that right, good? And if you would like these yes. simple recipes, send us a self-addressed yeah, stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, like Maryland, 21801. You can go to our website, delmarvalife.com, or you can give us a call, 443-880-9116. And it's, I'm going to go ahead and taste this while Jimmy attempts to pour. Yeah, we'll see how much of it actually gets into the... Uh... <laughs> You're doing good so far. Oh, well, obviously you can't see the mess I made. It's okay. <laughs> All righty. All right, and then and? You, want, you can go ahead and... How is it? Serve it in those glasses, and we can taste test this. I think I got jalapeno. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, she found a jalapeno. <laughs> Hurry up, Jimmy. There you go. All yours. <laughs> mm. What do you think? That nice is stuff? delicious. Good stuff? Like that? Good stuff. Here, Bill. I, I know you like this stuff. Go Connor, ahead. thank oh, you so you. much. Oh, okay. thank oh, yeah. you guys. <laughs> this Very is so stuff. good. Yes. Okay, we had a great show today. Oh, and my you know, goodness. we're actually uh, taking a couple of days off as we approach the Memorial Day holiday. And remember those who gave the ultimate thank sacrifice you. defending this How great you country. But you'll still be able to watch a couple of your favorite Delmarva Life episodes right here, same time, same place.